this one year old female baby weighing 10.9 kilos was brought to my OPD by mother with complaint of pit on lower back. So, whenever we see a child with sacral dimple, we have to decide whether it is typical or atypical. So, let's have a look at features which we have to see in a child. So, if the maximum diameter of dimple is less than 5 mm, if face of dimple is visualized, if it is situated less or equal to 2.5 cm from anus, and if it is situated in midline, and if neurology of the baby or child is normal, then we will label it as typical. And we don't have to worry about, but we have to reassure parents about its benign nature. If these features are not present, as you can see here, where size of sacral dimple is more than 5 mm, where base of dimple is not visualized, where it is situated more than 2.5 cm from anus, where it is not in midline, and where other cutaneous markers present, then we will label it as atypical. And when sacral dimple is atypical, we have to think of doing ultrasound scan of lumbosacral spine. And if it comes out to be normal, we will consider neurosurgical referral. But if it is abnormal, then the next investigation that we will be doing is MRI scan of spine and we may also think of uh, referring the child to neurosurgical center for further evaluation. Finally, a child with typical or atypical sacral dimple with abnormal neurology we will be following same management pathway as we have discussed just now for atypical sacral dimple. Now let's examine our baby. The maximum diameter of sacral dimple is 4 mm which is less than 5 mm. I can see the base of the dimple. It is 2 cm from anus. It is situated in midline and there is no abnormal neurology of lower limb in baby. So, this fits in typical sacral dimple. So, I reassured mom who was very anxious that it may look scary to you but it won't be causing any harm to the baby.